In this video, we're going to show how the IT11 can derive the ratio between two components, and that is based on their values. This test is interesting because in most test equipment, we're trying to find the value of a component, in this case, a capacitor, but we're not looking for the value of the component. What we're looking for is the ratio between two components, how close they are together. In, in that respect, this works very much like, a, like an analog computer with a very simple function. And basically what that function is doing is trying to, to derive when, when the circuit is balanced and find out what the ratio is at that balance. And it's, it's interesting how this works and it's, it's hard to describe. Basically what we're doing is we're taking the internal standard that we used to use to, to get the value of the capacitor. And instead we're using an external standard to get the ratio of the capacitor. And I set the switch over to external standard. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this knob. Now I'm gonna let you know first, first off that, that these two modern capacitors uh, have the same value uh, to, a very, to a very high degree. They're, they're basically the same component with the same number on them. And what we're gonna do and what we're shooting for is that if they are the same component, then at a one-to-one -one ratio right here, the eye should open up because it will be balanced and then we'll be able to say that, that the values are the same. Not entirely useful for capacitors since they have a known value, but if you're working with something like an inductor, like a coil, and you wanted to know the ratio, perhaps the turn ratio of two coils, you could use this to find out what the value was of an unknown coil. So what we're gonna do is right now, we're sitting up at uh, what six to one, and I'm going to turn the knob. And as we approach one to one, you see it opens up. Let me get it right where it's supposed to be. Now the capacitors are obviously have, have very slight differences, but you can see that Basically, it's a it's a one to one ratio. So, if you didn't know the value of this capacitor and you did know the value of that capacitor, you would now know that it is the same value because it has a one to one ratio. And as we leave, obviously, it goes back up in that direction, unbalanced, unbalanced, and right there in the middle, it's perfectly balanced. So that's how we get ratios on this piece of equipment using the external reference as, as a, or as they refer to it, the external standard to, de to determine that value.